Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on these various angles that we have discussed so far, let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Find the complement of 57 degrees. So how would you find complement? Now two angles are said to be complementary if their sum is 90 degrees. So complement of any angle would be that angle which when added to this angle that means the angle which when added to 57 degrees should give 90 degree. So you will have to find out this particular angle. So this angle would be called as the complement of 57 degree. Right. So how would you find out this angle? So if you assume this angle as x, so x will actually be equal to 90 degree minus 57 degree because you transpose 57 to right hand side. Therefore, you can say that complement of 57 degrees will be equal to 90 degree minus 57 degree which is equal to 33 degrees. So that means if you add 33 degrees to 57 degrees, so this is just a rough diagram. So if you add 33 degrees, so you actually get a 90 degree. So that's the meaning. Find the supplement of 105 degrees. So in a similar way, what would be the supplement of 105 degree? So supplement would be that angle which when added to 105 degree should give 180 degrees. So that is the supplement. So therefore the supplement angle would be equal to 180 degrees minus 105 degrees. So this would be equal to 75 degrees. So that means if you add 75 degrees, that is this angle should be 75 degrees and then the two together form a straight angle, that is they together form 180 degrees. Question number 3. Find the angle which is equal to its supplement. So we do not know the angle, so let us assume that the angle is x. Now as per the question that the angle and its supplement be are the same. So that means the supplement of this angle would also be x. Now as per the concept of supplementary angles, we know that the sum of an angle and its supplement is equal to 180 degrees. Right? So now let us solve this to find the value of x. So x plus x would be 2x is equal to 180 degree or you can say x is equal to 180 degrees divided by 2. So 2 nines are 18, so you get x is equal to 90 degree. So basically if you have a right angle like this 90 degrees, in that case the other angle would also be 90 degree. So the angle and its supplement are equal. Question number 4. In the given figure angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles. If angle 1 is decreased, what should what changes should take place in angle 2 so that both the angles still remain supplementary now to remain supplementary the only condition is that so to remain supplementary sum of angle 1 and angle 2 must be 180 degrees. So that is the most, that is the only criteria for two angles to be supplementary. So we have to ensure that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Now let us assume that if angle 1 decreases. So let us draw the diagram in that case. What would happen? So let us say angle 1 has decreased. So initially angle 1 was an obtuse angle let's say that it has decreased considerably and it has now become an acute angle that is an angle less than 90 degrees. 
So it has reduced this much. So in this case, what is happening to angle 2? So the angle 2, if we want the sum to remain as 180 degrees, that means angle 1 and angle 2 should together form this straight line, right? So in that case, this angle has to be angle 2. So what has happened to angle 2? So when if angle 1 decreases, then angle 2 has to increase if we want to maintain the sum to be 180 degrees right so in that case angle 2 will have to increase now if we assume that angle 1 increases too much so even if angle 1 increases too much much more than what it was before so in that case also we see let's say that it is it has become something like this where this angle is 1 so if angle 1 has increased so much then angle 2 definitely has to decrease so that the sum remains 180 degrees. So that, that's a very simple concept. Their sum always has to be 180 degrees. And 180 degrees means a straight line. So in order to maintain a straight line, if you are increasing one angle, the other angle has to decrease. Similarly, if you are decreasing one angle, the other angle has to increase. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.